Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using Photoshop to change the background in here from this background over to this kind of fun party scene. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, our first job here is just to float this window. I'm going to grab this picture here. This is the background layer. You can see it right there, and drag it over here to the other picture, and we can then get this out of the way. Let's now just get this positioned properly. There we go. First step is done. Let's now remove the background and the easy way, make sure you're on the right layer here, is to go up here to select and come down to subject and let Photoshop figure this out for you. It's actually very good at doing this particular job. There we are. And now I want to clean up our edges and that's pretty easy. Go up here to select, come down to select and mask. There we are. Here's our brush size. I'll bring the brush size down a bit using the left bracket, left square bracket. And I want to have this tool right here. And then just brush it along right on the bottom edge here of the hat on this side. Brush along the edge of the hair. This is going to soften up the edge a little bit, but blend into the background. And it will also help on one little trick we'll see in just a minute here. And the same thing on this left-hand side of her head, which of course is our right-hand side. Just go ahead and brush through like that. And along the top of the shoulder. And this piece right here, should be in our selection. So I'm going to fix that. Grab this tool here, make sure it's on the plus sign. Then just paint over that. That brings that back in again. Okay. She's all set now. It's a bit too much in here. I can kind of see the background showing. And I'm going to change this over here to minus. And I'll come in and just clean up a little bit of that right along there. We may need to do a bit more of that. But that should get most of that. A little bit of cleanup in here. Okay. So that's fine. Now... At the bottom down here, come down to New Layer with Layer Mask. Choose OK. And there we are. We now have her in the picture. So far, so good. And you can see it's a little bit soft here on the edges. That's perfect. And you'll see why in just a second. OK, come down here to the layer underneath of her layer. Make a new layer here. New Layer button right there. And then grab the color picker by clicking on the foreground color. And just grab something over here from these bright colored leaves. Kind of a magenta. I'll put this clip to the top right hand corner. Choose OK. So that's some of that coloration from the background. Grab the paint bucket and then fill that layer. You see there's a little bit of dirt in here on this edge. I'm going to clean that up. That's on the layer mask side over here. Grab your paintbrush. That's a good size. Make sure it's on a soft brush. That's all the way to 100%. So let's take it down to the left side for a soft brush. 0% hardness. That's good. And then just brush in here. Maybe a bit too much on that. I'm going to back this up to about halfway. And bring my brush size down just a little bit again left bracket and then come in and just brush in just a little bit like that you don't want to get ready to get into the hat although a little bit of softness there doesn't matter and just clean out some of that dirt that's around that selection and then come down here get this cleaned up just a little bit doesn't need much and over here on the other side same thing, just a little bit of cleanup right along that edge. Don't go clear to the edge, just a little bit of cleanup like that. And along the bottom edge of the hat and right in here. You can see a little bit right in there. Okay, that's now taken care of. So let's go back over here and then hold the Alt key down, grab this layer mask and pull it straight down. That copies that layer mask down to here. Now, because we had that soft edge right in here, you can see how we're getting a bit of that coloration showing through right along that edge. It's very, very subtle. But it's in there, just a little bit of that color coming through. You can exaggerate that if you want to. Click on the layer mask side over here. Go up to filter. Come down to blur and Gaussian blur. And just a little bit more of a blur in here. If I go real large, you can see how it's making that even more accentuated. Don't want that much. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll put a 2 in here, radius of 2 pixels. And choose OK. We now have just a little bit more of that background coloration showing through, looking like she's being lit by the lights in the back. Okay, now we have two light sources in the back. There is that kind of purplish thing. We've taken care of that. And everything else is more on the warm side. So I want to bring in some warmth into her picture. For that, let's go back up here to the top layer. And then go up to Layer. Come down to New Adjustment Layer. And down here to Photo Filter. Where it says use previous layer, check that, choose OK. The default filter is the warming filter, and that's the one that we want. And let's crank this way up here to about halfway up in the 60s. That's a 68. Let's make it 65. There we go. 
and it has a lot more warmth in there. You can double check that little eye. There's before, there's after. So I've now warmed the picture up and it helps you blend it in with the colors. Now the contrast is still a little off. We can fix that very quickly and easily. Back up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. This time use levels. Again, check that checkbox, choose OK. And in here, bring a little bit on the left hand side. This is the black slider, just a little bit of that in. Don't go too far or it's going to block up like that. So just a little bit is all you want. Right in here, I think it's pretty good. You can adjust the midtone if you want to. I'm going to leave that midtone alone. I'll leave that at one. Maybe just a little bit on the whites, just a hint in there. And again, you can test this with that eye before and after. It didn't take much adjustment, but that really now blends her into that new background. Don't forget to click on like and subscribe. And also make sure you take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.